Hello everyone, this is Wei Yifen. Today I will introduce some optimal control method for LAC resonant converters based on the state trajectory analysis. First is a simplified optimal trajectory control to improve the dynamic response, and then is a burst mode to improve the light load efficiency, and finally is optimal startup. First, I will introduce the simplified optimal trajectory control. This is a steady state trajectory on the light load and heavy load condition. With conventional optimal trajectory control method, we need to sense the resonant capacitor voltage and current and magnetizing current to determine the center and then based on the calculation to determine the radius and then determine the switch instant. We can find that with this method, we need to sense the, all the state variables and a lot of complicated calculation. What we proposed is the hybrid control. Near the steady state, we use the PI control method, and during the transient, we use the optimal trajectory control. Take a load step up as an example. On the light load, the LC works near this black circle, and when the load step up, we can find that optimal trajectory control is applied and the two pulse width is increased. And then it will go through two partial ellipse trajectories and finally go to the new steady state. We can find that all state variable has been settled and the PI composite take less effort to close to the new heavy load steady state. Now we look at the optimal burst mode control. We proposed three pulse implementation. This is the steady state trajectory of high efficiency load. What we want to do is that is let the LC always operate at this load condition during light load. The first pulse width is tuned. When it touches this reference trajectory, we turn off Q1 and turn on Q2. And then it will follow this optimal steady state trajectory. We can find that with this implementation, the LLC will always operate at this high efficiency load condition. Let's show its implementation. Like conventional constant on time control, the output voltage ripple is sensed, and then compared with a voltage reference. During the off time, the voltage will decrease, and when it touches the voltage reference, we give three pulse. The first pulse width is optimized, and the next pulse running at high efficiency load condition, and then the voltage will decrease again and this process on and on. Finally, let me introduce the optimal soft startup. At the startup moment, we use the unsymmetrical band to settle the initial conditions, where the resin capacitor voltage will build to 200 volts very quickly. On the trajectory, there is a series of partial circles built to half of the input voltage to 200 volts. And then we use the symmetrical band to maximum transfer the energy. We can find that by setting this band and knowing the output voltage, the trajectory can be determined during this band. And finally, it will close to the new steady state. We can find that with proposed method, there is no voltage and current stress during this process. This is my hardware prototype. It is a 300 watt LLC resin converter. The input voltage is 400 volts, the output voltage is 12 volts, and the resin frequency is about 500 kHz. This blue board is a data conversion board. It will transfer the analog output voltage and current signals into digital signals and then send it to the FPGA. We use Ultra Cyclone 3 FPGA as a controller, and we implement the simplified optimal trajectory control to improve the dynamic response, the burst mode to improve the light load efficiency, and some optimal soft startup method to avoid current and voltage stress during the startup process. This board is a connection board. It will send in the gate drive signals from FPJ to LLC. Now I will demo the simplified optimal trajectory control method to improve the transient performance. First, the LLC runs at 5 amps output. The blue waveforms is the output voltage AC signal. The pink is the resonant current. 
The yellow is the gate drive signals. Now I will give a load transient from 5 amps to 20 amps with 100 hertz frequency. With proposed method, there is almost no dynamic oscillation when load steps up and the load steps down. We can zoom in the load step up moment. By increasing the pulse width of gate drive signals during the transient moment, the resonant current will settle to the new steady state very quickly and the conventional linear composite take less effort to convert to the new steady state. So we can find that there is almost no dynamic oscillation on the output voltage. Now I will demo the optimal burst mode to improve the light load efficiency. This is a steady state waveform when LLC running at heavy load condition, 20 amps. If the load changes from 20 amps to 2 amps, We can find that the LLC were running from the normal operation mode to the optimal burst mode. Under this optimal burst mode, the first pulse width is optimized to settle to the new high efficiency load condition quickly. The next two pulses running at this efficiency load condition to achieve the best efficiency. When the load decreases from 2 amps to 1 amps, and to 0 0.5 amps, we can find that the on time keeps the same, but the off time increases. During the on time, it will always run at this high efficiency load condition. Thus, high efficiency can be achieved. And with three pulse implementations, the output voltage ripple is minimized. Now I will show the optimal startup. In order to have a comparison, First, we investigate the startup performance of an LLC evaluation board with, with commercial controller. The blue curve is the output voltage, the pink is the resonant current, the yellow is the gate drive signal. You can find that it takes almost about 25 milliseconds to finish the startup process. We can zoom in the waveform. Since the switching frequency is not controlled quite well at the startup moment, there is a large current spike during the startup. Now we will bypass the commercial controller with the proposed optimal method. We can find that the output voltage is built up in 2 milliseconds, which is much shorter than the commercial one. So in the waveform, there is no current stress during the startup process. At the startup moment, we use a symmetrical band to settle the initial condition where the pulse width of gate driving signal is tuned. And then we use symmetrical band to limit the resonant current. Obviously, the resonant current stress are minimized during the startup process. That's all for my demonstration. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye.